Hi, let's talk about setting up monetization for Android using AdMob for Android as the platform. We have different ad formats from AdMob banner, interstitial, native, and rewarded video. We'll be focusing on native ads in Android. Native is a component based ad format that gives publishers the freedom to customize our ad assets like headlines and calls to action are presented in their apps. You choose different fonts, colors, and other details by themselves. We have two forms of uh, native ads, the Native Ads Express and uh, the Native Ads Advanced. The Native Ads Express is a native form, whereby you have the text, images, and the makeup of your ads uh, using the CSS template. You have to actually build that uh, right there from the AdMob uh, console. You style your ads to fit in natively uh, the structure of your application, probably using the color feed and every other text format. While the native ads advance, uh, receive native ad assets directly from the mobile ads SDK and then display them using UI elements that are native to the platform. The string asset can be displayed in a text view. So we're going to actually use the native ads express uh, to actually display ads right there in a recycler view, uh, which is actually not going to uh, repel users from appreciating the app. You know, ads has been a major concern when it comes to popping out and uh, it actually uh, interferes with user experience. But using native ads uh, is actually going to uh, make ads appealing you know, and is actually going to fit well with the structure of your app. We're actually going to integrate native ads into one of our tutorial actually made which is called the Recycler View Rogers. Uh, this is just a recycler list, with, uh, different JSON core, you know, which uh, can actually be anything. It can be probably, or uh, you have uh, a web service online and you need to fetch data and you actually populate it using Recycler View. You can decide to integrate native ads in between uh, the cards. And uh, right there, you're looking at the video, and I have the GitHub. Where you can pick up the source code as well and set up and get ready for this magnificent integration. We're actually going to be needing two different other platforms, which we are very familiar with. Firebase, Firebase is very important because uh, the native ads, or let's say the ads, the the AdMob's ads have been moved and are bundled with the Firebase uh, setup. So you actually need that in the dependency. So you need to create uh, probably a new project or a new app if you add a project. And I've created mine. I have it uh, over here. So you will need a Google Services JSON file so you can build up with your Android application. You also need the AdMob Ad Unit ID whereby you have to structure how your ad is going to be displayed. That's uh, the colors, the text, and some other little aspects. On this uh, AdMob platform, which you have probably a Google account and sign up and have this platform, you monetize new app and create a new ad unit as I've created one here in this tutorial. Let me just show you the new ad unit probably you've created a new android app where you're going to actually integrate the package and some other details of the application we have the banner interstitial rewarded video native you opt for the native and uh, you start to start you can see the sizes that you can actually uh, embed using this uh grid tool. you have the small the medium the large after completing that you save and you be given an app, an ad unit ID. Afterwards, you move. You have to save that, and you'll be using that right in the code. So let's head straight to Android Studio, and let's have the feel of the code. Right there, build Gradle very important. That's always the first step because we are actually using external libraries as well. We need the Firebase ads over here, and we also need the Google services. 
or by you apply the plugin com.google.gms Google services and you need to actually make a trick right there in the big radio which is the project session where you need to declare the class path of the Google services as well back to build radio after doing that you synchronize radio but you can get stuck somewhere which is the that's just the normal error that might come up probably you don't have firebase ads right there in your sdk so you easily go straight to your sdk once you have that pop up and to the sdk tools just check on the google repository you need to have the latest google repository installed you update the google repository and you resync your application you have that sorted out from here we'll go straight to the layouts uh, we included one more layout which is for the native express ad it's a container which is a card view you know we are trying to give our name our hats an item of view as well you include the card view you have it this way where you will give elevation just like you declare any normal card view for your list item afterwards we're straight to main activity in main activity we need to declare some fields the first the items per hard we need to declare how many items we actually need per hard units or per no we need eight so we're actually going to populate the list item of the cards no we're going to populate eight ads that's what that means and we also need the height of the card which we're going to actually give 150 you know the express ad height you also need your ad unit id where you got you have to get that from the ad mob over here that's good let's move ahead into the uncreate method you know we've had uh, a recycler view laid out already so we are just integrating ad, ad mobs native ads into this we have two methods that we declared the first is the add native express ads we actually look through the items array which is the recycler view items by getting the size and we place a new native express ad in every end position that's the height position with the counter uh, in the item list which we did with this uh, for loop we also need to set up the native express ads whereby we use a runnable to ensure that the recycler view has been laid out before setting the ad size you know we make sure that the recycler view has been uh, populated before you now uh, slide in the ad that's just what the code does so that you're going to actually have a, a coherent size around uh, the, the ad so the ad is going to fit well with the card of the list item that's what that means so this allows us to set the native express ad width to match the full width of the recycler whereby we actually call on the native express ads right there in the for loop uh, we gave it an object you know, whereby when it's iterating now we call the items per hard as the point of the third which is eight which is the iteration we iterate only by eight and uh, we call the card view over here what about we call its id and uh, we have an integer for the add width what about we get the width of the card view and uh, we also set the pattern to left and the right we call the add size we, get, we have to get the width of the add size we do a scale you know based on the native express add height which is 150 now we set the add size to that scale that we did and from the add width you know, we did the scale so it's going to be the same now we set the add unit id as well so after this runnable uh, we need to load the first ex native express add in the list items which takes us down to this about we load the native express app 
Now we get the index to be greater than or equals to the recycler view item size. We created an object of item and we try to know if it's an instance of a native express ad view. So it's actually going to throw a cast exception if it is not. And uh, we also have the ad view of the native express ad view our class with an object of its item. Now we're going to set the ad listener on the native express ad view to wait for the previous native express ad to finish before loading the next ad in the list items. You can see. So it's going to wait for the first before loading the second, the third, the fourth. Not that it will just populate everything at once. That's what the on ad loaded uh, method does. We have to override the set ad listener. You know. We override two methods, the on ad loaded and the on ad field to load. That's fine. That sets up the ads right there in the main activity we have that setup that uh, we have the method which is the load native express ads that load the native express ads the list item method and uh, the setup load native express ads that actually uh, use a runnable to make sure that the recycler view has been laid out for the native ads so, come ahead just to trigger that method to work fine now from here we're going to head straight to the adapter that binds up data right in the adapter we have the menu item view type which we gave zero as an identifier now we need for the add view you know because we're actually displaying two menus the items and the add Right there in we have the view order for the list items which is called the menu item view. We can explain this. We also need a view order for the express ads, which is a an abstract class right inside the adapter, which also extends the recycler view, view order. Now we instantiate by calling superclass, which is a constructor. The native express ad view probably if but programmatically uh, Google is going to undo uh, the clicks on the ads so don't worry about that we also need to get the item view type which actually takes up the position as a parameter the modulus to so the items per ad which is initialized to zero, you know, uh, or there's an itinerary, Zida, the native express ad view type. If not, it's going to be the menu item view type. You know, we are trying to, uh, to toggle between item types now. Is it, are we talking about the native express ad view type at this present at, at the moment, or we are using the menu item view type? So that's what that uh, return type is doing. Now, in the onCreate Builder, the Builder, we have two cases. The first case for the menu item view type that lists out all menu, all ingredients, and, and uh, details on the recycler view. And we have the second case, which is for the express ad view type you know, that falls through, that uh, populates the ads. In this uh, case, we inflate uh, the layout, the native express ad container that was created earlier need to call on that uh, card layout and now we return the native express ad view order and pass the view as a parameter also here we're going to replace the content of the views that make up the menu item view and the native express ad view so this method is invoked by the layout manager when we are binding the view now we've talked about the item view type when we use our Pojo to buy the views. In the previous tutorial that explains more about this recycler view. And this time 
we are binding up the native express attribute type as well. Uh, we created its object, that's the express folder, and uh, we also created an object for the add view. We should be aware that the native express add view order is cycled by the recycler view maybe a different instance than the one used previously for the position. So you're going to clear the native express add view order of any sub views in case it has a different add view associated with it and make sure the add view for the position doesn't already have a parent of a different recycled native express add view order. That's what uh, we have to do here when we get the child count to greater than zero and we remove all views and also add the get parent uh, method to the view to the remove views passing the add view experiment. Now we add native express add to the native express add view uh, just this way. So we're going to have actually have the native express add view binded up with the recycler view. That's perfect. Nice. Let's look at the manifest. Now you may not need to add the internet. You don't need to add the internet. Uh, I just place that there. Probably if you want to extend more on this code, uh, probably if you want to start to call uh, cloud services, that would be useful. So that takes us to the end of uh, the native ads, creating native ads into your Android application. It's quite helpful and uh, it's, it's very good when it comes to user experience and it has a very good uh, rate of uh, turnover you know, and it's uh, appealing to users if you can do it very well, blend it up with your colors, blend it up with your list item cards and then you have it displayed uh, appropriately. I'll be showing the screencast of this uh, particular video and I'll also be uploading or be committing this code right there to the GitHub web. Don't go anywhere. Thank you very much for hanging out with Dragon this video. And please subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time.